day two. Here we go, day two of our busy weekend. Last night, we were at my six-year-old's um, school for the fall festival. And this morning, we actually drove straight through the night um, to make it to my son's performance at um, Bethune-Cookman today. He's going to be marching uh, with Bethune-Cookman and then playing at their homecoming. So here we are. We're in um, Emerald Suites in Daytona, um, and we are in our room. This is the kitchenette area. This is the bed area. You see we have two queen size beds because we were going to originally bring the little kids, but we changed our minds and decided we were going to make it a little kind of weekend for mom and dad. So, and then, and this bed is looking great. It is, look at what time we're arriving. It's Saturday, Saturday morning. We're arriving at 6.38. My son had actually left his band shoes, so we had to get here by 6 o'clock so that he can have his band shoes because they had to be ready at 6 o'clock. So, he's lucky we even came. Uh, here's just a little table area. And in the morning, because it's, it's still dark out here. So, when, well look, even in the dark, oh my God. You can see the sun starting to peak above the horizon. We have an ocean view. And when the sun comes up, I will show you the view. But that was the view from the door. And now this is the view from the balcony. I mean, it's not over the top fancy, but it is clean. It is nice. Um, I'm getting ready to get out my lights so I can spray everything down. And we are going to enjoy our weekend. Boo boo, homecoming, Bethune Cookman. Yes, parade and game. Excited to be in Daytona. We're going to live up Daytona. My son is going to stay with his band friends. And we're going to enjoy a nice couple's weekend. So, like I said, it was going to be a busy weekend. This is day two of the busy weekend. Daytona Beach. Yes, the Sunrise, Daytona Beach, Florida. Oh, the sky is amazing. God's creation, amazing. Just loving it, just loving it, just loving it. We're about to spend day one of two, Daytona Beach, Florida. We're doing cooking today and then just relaxing tonight and into the morning. The sun rising, we already have somebody walking on the beach during sunrise. Look at that, look at that, look at the sun peeping up right under the horizon. This is beautiful. You can see the rays coming up as the sun is rising. See them right behind the clouds. You can still hear the waves cracking on the shore. This is our view from our hotel room during sunrise. So we have the fire pit, the hot tub, lounging areas right overlooking the beach, and then the pool. This 
the glove view from So here we go. We are here at Tango Outlet in Daytona. We're getting ready to go into the Nike Outlet and see what they have. Okay, so first off at the Outlet is Nike. Here we go. We're actually in Nike so that my husband can get a new pair of shoes. And since we didn't bring the kids, we're gonna look for my 19 year old sneakers. So, let's see what we find. Real okay, so let's see what they have. Yes, they tend to be nice, light, and inexpensive. <laughs> she tried to tell you. <laughs> what? That's your face. They still too small. Okay, so our next stop is going to be Rack Room Shoes. I want to see, can I find some shoes for work? And then we'll go into Rolls and Alley. And then we'll go see if we can catch the homecoming game. I'm sorry. Are we else I Probably. Probably. You get it. You ain't gotta go in the store. You can just give me your money. Yes. So we're in Hagen Dazs and he's getting um, ice cream. He was looking for some kind of oh pistachio nut, and they don't have that anymore. So now he's gonna get the strawberry sugar instead. A large pepper sugar. And then we're going to go to another store. Let's get out of here. It's been a long time since we've been talking about it, so. No, thank you. You better not go in here. Okay, so we're inside. Let's see here. It's still early. It's only like 4 o'clock, so it's still a little empty. Yeah. 
So we're trying to see if there's an outside area. Okay, here we go. We're going down. Coming back from the film cook man. He played on a van. Yeah. He did his thing in the ground. Stinky. Yeah. Stinky. Day in Daytona and the final day in Daytona. The guys are getting ready to do some speed racing. Uh some go-kart racing here in Daytona. Checking out the nitro cars. What'd you say? I said the sun was too bright, I couldn't hear you. Really? <laughs> so they're waiting for the advanced track that they're going to ride around on for an hour. Spend time. Okay, so they're out on the track. Doing their thing.
Here comes Jaden. He has left his father in the dust. Here goes Jaden. Here comes Fanan. Join us up, and I am sitting, waiting, praying for us for friends. So we're just having a good time out here in Daytona, loving life, living life on a high life. He just strolling. So uh, he just feels so like he's not going fast at all. trying to keep him from going around him. Jaden went all the way out to the car and still passed it. <laughs> what is that called? An overlap? He overlapped him? Now he's trying to catch up to the girl and pass her. Now he's trying to catch up to the boy. Hello, I don't know if he's got to catch up. So tight, you might. Nope, you went out. So before we leave, we decided that we would stop off into Target and just see what they have in their Target playground. This is very cute. So much happening. Daily reminders. We have the mini planner pockets. It's been a minute since I've actually been in um, in Target. So, I don't know what's new and what's old. I do know that I would like to find I would like to find some, um, like, a woody outdoor type of stuff for my tablescape for the fall, for Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving tablescape. These are real cute. I'm going to have two. Two for three dollars. I like those. I also like these, but they're three dollars each. So those are really cute. Like, they're like mini pots. Definitely. And they have these napkin holders. I like that. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to use to decorate my Thanksgiving table. I have some pumpkins still. One count. And this in the three dollar section, let me see. So I'm thinking it's three dollars. 
Yep, they're three dollars. I like the little trees. I would probably paint them um, so that they're not black. Hmm, that might make a nice centerpiece either. Let me think about that. Starry lights. Yes. Yellow lights. Silver wire warm white lights. And those are three dollars. We have Halloween stamps. They don't have anything country like. And that's what I want. My Thanksgiving table. I want it to be country. S. Um, that's the word I was looking for earlier. So, okay. Anybody that knows me knows that purses are my weakness. I love the shape and the size of it, but it does not have a zipper or a closure in it, so that wouldn't work well for me. But also, I don't need another purse. So let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so here we are in the home decor section. We are in the we are in the clearance area. You know you can always find great stuff in the clearance area. So this throw was $34.99 and now it's $24.99. They have the antlers here. The antlers were $29.99. I don't see a clearance tag on that one, so I'm not sure if those are clearance. Oh, they got the gold acorns real quick. Real cute. It was $7.99. Now it's clearance for $3.99. They also have this wooden tray, which is $20.98. I think I'm liking it, but let me look around a little bit. Seventeen forty-eight. It's a nice tray. It's big too. This tray it is super heavy, and it is on clearance. It's a threshold one. You can see it's on clearance for twenty ninety-eight. So we have some more accessories, some more wall decor, Project 62, and that's $39.99. I just, I don't know, I feel like I can try to make that, so be looking out. So the reason why I'm actually in Target is because I'm still making over the master bedroom which I started a while ago when I did the master bathroom. And it is not done or not even halfway. I ran into a roadblock with my husband and style, so we're kind of trying to compromise on what the style is going to be. But I'm back working on that room again, so I'm looking for curtains for that space. Um, 
and I think I'm going to go with like a navy blue, um, navy blue accessories, navy blue and kind of grayish accessories uh, for a more masculine look in this fall winter time. So let's go see if we can find some curtains. Okay, so here we are, and we are in the curtain section. In the curtain section, we have navy curtain panels. Those are only 63 inches. I definitely need them much longer than that. Let's go down this way. Let's see what we have. I want. I want to combine like a solid and a, a solid with a pattern. So I don't really see um, quite what I'm looking for, which is okay. Like I said, all of this is a work in progress. So yeah, I don't think I see anything that's I feel will work. That's like a beige. I want more of a gray. So, all right. Well, we will continue to look because I don't see anything that I really want here. That's the fun of shopping and making over. You can keep looking. So we'll keep looking. <laughs>